I figured as long as I'm up here, I might as well show you guys my semi-automated um, quarry. It's nothing too fancy. One stone cutter to break these down. And uh, three porters to ship everything back to the workyard. Still only have two zombies, one on the stone, one on the marble, but that's that's enough for now. I don't have anybody on the iron, because I figure if I do that myself, with the perks I have, I'm more likely to find uh, gold nuggets or silver nuggets or diamond. Uh, yeah, that's this place here, and I'll pick back up when I get to an important location. All right. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to walk you through my procedure that I use um, for uh, corpse improvement um, and soul improvement, that kind of thing. First, we extract the, the, um, the soul. Then we put it in the fully upgraded um, soul shrine or whatever this is called. Heals the soul. Out pops the healed soul and some sin shards. And you sip the um, healed soul off. Put your shards in here. You go to organ modification. This heart could be boosted once. What else we got? This brain only needs to be improved once. Intestine that only needs to be improved once. Now I need skin, fat, blood, and flesh. Blood takes because it already has negative one skull in its creation. It takes four to modify it up to maximum white hearts. And this takes a lot of um, sin shards per organ, well, per zombie, not per organ. I don't think I have enough right now, but the general rule is to increase every one you can increase organ-wise up to three whites. Make sure that they have as little red skulls as possible. And do skin next. Sorry, I cut away there for a second. I took care of those two, um, the two corpses that were ready to be taken care of. They're now on the shelves over there until I'm ready to deal with them. All right, now, what was I saying? These things right here, the organs. You put three white hearts in each one. Um, 
seven organs you can upgrade up to three hearts apiece or skulls apiece. That's three times seven, 21 hearts right there. Uh, the most hearts you can get from embalming over here. But you have to do this very precisely. After you're done putting all the organs in there, into the, um, the body, and you come over here to put the stuff in, you don't want to have any um, red skulls left on your corpse when you bring it over here for embalming. And the thing you want to embalm with first is... the lie injection and the dark injection for a total of plus three red so that way you can use the silver injection and the gold injection to lose three more red skulls and it's simultaneously adding three more white skulls then you can either throw them on this resurrection table for the cost of ten faith and one zombie juice to resurrect uh, one zombie at full 26 white hearts. It should be I think 45% efficiency So that's pretty good and Well with the DLC stuff you can finally make use of a 26 star or a really uh, massive star or sorry white skull corpse in the graveyard to with the additional See if I can show you guys here. Should be under technologies. Yeah, right in here. These marble fences and statues. Look at that. It's beautiful. This one, seven to or seven, whatever that style to the grave. And this one, nine to the grave. Um I think there was something else. No, maybe not. So that's the most you can end up with is, let's see, 9 plus 7. So you can get 16 um, quality per grave over here if you so desire. But that's a lot of digging up corpses to maximize your profits in both faith and money-wise here. It takes a long time to dig these back up throw a new corpse in, put your top of the line headstone and um, uh, doo -doo -doo, and the border around the grave here. All right, that's it for the tour in its entirety. So I will catch you guys when a story element pops up.
All right, what am I missing here? Uh, blood, fat, skin, oh, meat, flesh, rather. Dang it. I am exactly three sin shards short. Damn it, all that, and I got the surgeon's mistake anyway. Ugh, I don't know if I can... Actually, for science, let's try to put the organs in here and see what happens. We have blood, fat, flesh, skin, heart, I need brain and intestine. Oh, here, okay, I figured it out. We'll do silver injection first to take down the red and put one more right, uh, white skull there. Looks like I'll be um, meditating for a bit here. Oh, 
Let's see what we're dealing with with this new corpse. Ooh. I like that start so far. And heal the soul. Throw the healed soul in there. Toss in the sin shards. Pull the body out. I'm gonna double check, see what kind of organs I'm working with in this body that I have right now with Take that off. You're down to five whites, zero reds. Oh, these intestines are perfect. What this means is um, when you put these intestines in there because of the negative red skulls, that's a grand total of uh, negative two red plus three white. So this is very powerful. This one sucks. Plus two, plus two is net net zero this is oh straight up plus three white skulls minus two red so you can have two extra red skulls per corpse which is cool anyway i'm gonna go ahead and take these intestines out and then put the um corpse on the rack Now, you notice how I'm at 20 now. We're going to be one less regardless because I only had uh, two plus in one of the, um, it was either the skin or the fat. Anyway, you see how there's no red. Normally, we wouldn't be able to use the golden. Let's see if I can find it. The gold injection here because there's no reds to take away, so they can't add the white. But because of the way we did this, you can do dark injection to raise that up to plus two red. We're gonna go um, up here and meditate again to pass some time so I can show you guys how to make the, the perfect zombie or regular corpse, even though it's overkill for just a corpse to bury because they only you only get um, credit or the improvement, whatever they call it over there, of a total of plus 16. So your waste of 10 white hearts, it's a lot of wasted energy for these. Now you toss the gold in there and you're gonna end up with a, uh, a um, 22, White skull, zero red skull. Uh, because it wasn't quite up to snuff when it, uh, because of the, um, the surgical mistake, added one red and took away uh, one white. So we're down about four white skulls for this. So most we can do is 22. As you can see, a grand total of 22 white, zero reds. For an efficiency, I believe this is gonna be 35%. Well, there's one easy way to check efficiency anyway, so throw them on a task. And then it pops up with their efficiency. Oh, 55. Oh, I forget. It's 65% for the top with the um, Better Save Sold DLC percent-wise. That's awesome. All right. Well, that is 
this time for real the entirety of my work yard and how to create perfect corpses for zombification and for uh, burial but the perfect zombie is going to be 10 point uh, white skull overkill anyway I'll catch you guys later peace all right here we are with uh, Wagner's uh, this is where he was I gave him his fly um, a Reminiac, um booze or whatever the hell it was and uh, this is what happens here we're screwed I'm growing hair in strange places second puberty Crap, I think it has to be nighttime, so let's move around a bit and then head up there afterward. There's Cole Cool. I need him for another quest.
Where's Fogner? He's supposed to be here. All right, we'll try this again. Oh, and when it comes to the end of the refugee quest with Beatrice and her choices, you want to help her out and give her what she needs. The five, um, the five emulsions of death. She gives you three more bodies, um, three more corpses for it. And, that, and you get to keep all the villagers here, which means you keep all their specialties and their... You're able to buy things from them, sell things to them, all that good stuff. forgot that it's Sunday here or Pride Day or whatever you want to call it.
Ran out of water. Oh, I hate that. You got the well right here. You figure even the zombies would be smart enough to come up here and get water when they need to make the make the beer. There we go. Well, I chose the perfect day to do that because it's Charms Day now. Ah, 
after you, my lady. I'm just looking for one of the free bookcases down here in the catacombs to leave the um, swords and extra armor that I apparently can't sell to anybody yet. So they're out of sight, out of mind. Thank you. 